G'day guys, my name's Nick and this is my channel Low Range Nick where I do videos about four driving, accessory fitting and maintenance for your four drive vehicle. So in today's video, I've driven about 8,000, 9,000 k's since fitting the ProVent catch can. I'm going to drain the catch can and uh, show you how much oil I've collected. So this will be the second drain I've had to do on the catch can. So I did a drain at about around four or 5,000 k's after fitting the catch can. Now we're up to about almost 9,000 k's uh, of having that catch can fitted. So I've got the oil that I drained out first in a little container. We'll catch the oil that uh, I drain out today and we'll measure it and uh, see roughly how much oil we're getting uh, out every 10,000 k's. So it does have a little lid here you can spin off and you have your changeable filter inside. Um, that filter only needs to be changed roughly every 40,000 k's. So it's something you need to add to your service schedule. Um, other than that, um, if you want to see the full install video on this catch can, I have another video which goes pretty in depth into installing this catch can and also how the um, crankcase ventilation system works uh, on the MUX and uh, other vehicles. So today we're pretty much just going to drain the catch can. I'll show you how much oil it's collected uh, over the last 9,000 k's and uh, we might pull off one of these hoses and have a bit of a look at the condition inside the hoses. So I've just mounted the drain hose just behind this flap on the driver's side wheel well. So I've just got it looped around there and zip tied up. So the reason I've done that is because sometimes these ball valves in here, they don't actually seal very well and they can drip oil onto the ground um, if they're angled down. So I know a few companies do make little caps for them and stuff to uh, stop the oil dripping out, but I've decided just to loop it around and uh, keep the length there. Um, so when I am traveling, um, I can just quickly check this. If it's getting high, um, I can just open that valve a little bit and let the oil sort of drain right up to here. Um, and that'll give me a little bit more time uh, between drains as well. So as you can see, the oil's all the way up this hose. So that's usually a quick check I do. I just walk past the vehicle, lift that, have a look. Oh, okay, it's, it's past here. It's probably time to pop the bonnet and have a look at how high it actually is. So you can see the pro vent there and you can see the drain hose off the bottom of it. It sort of goes down here and then you can get a little bit of a view uh, of it through this section here. So you can see it's not quite up to the catch can just yet. So it doesn't really need to be drained today but I'm just going to do it uh, just to show you guys how much oil it's catching. Okay guys, so now it's time to drain the uh, catch can. So I'm just going to snip this zip tie. And we've got the drain down here. Now let's see how much oil we've got in there. So I've got the catch can drain here. And I've got a little cup, so this is about 350 mils this cup. And now let's drain it. Let's see how much oil we got. So this is probably about four, four and a half thousand k's uh, since I've drained the catch can last. So it's uh, collected quite a bit um, and I've got in another container uh, the amount that I drained out last time as well so I can show you guys that. Just shut that ball valve off. I'll just give this a little bit of a wipe. So I'll just zip tie this back out. And then we'll be good for another 5,000 k's. So when you're mounting these drains, it's really up to personal preference. Like, if you really want to, you can chop it off and make it shorter. Um, I just like having that little bit extra length there. Um, so if it does fill up and I'm not ready to drain it, or I'm somewhere where I can't drain it, um, I've got a little bit more time. So that just allows it to yeah fill down here. And then I can open this valve and just... Let it push all the way up to the top so it gives me a little bit of extra volume in there. That's the way I've chosen to do it. Um, you can also, you know, just run it down here, chop it off so you've got the valve right there. But you do lose, you know, like maybe 50, 30, 50 mil extra uh, catchment if you chop the hose shorter. That's the only thing. I have actually seen with the drain hoses on these ProVent 200s, you can buy a little kit uh, that puts a little reservoir in the line. And that allows you to, you know, catch a lot more oil as well. So you could almost leave it you know, 10,000 k's sort of between service intervals and just drain it uh, at service intervals, which would be quite good. So maybe down the track I'll look at doing that. Um, but for now, it's sort of something you need to check really every 5,000 k's and drain. 
um, because they do pull a lot of oil out of the intake and especially the Provent 200s because they really do their job well um, they do need to be checked about every 5,000 k's alrighty guys so this is the oil I've just drained out of the catch can and that's probably after about 4,000 k's four and a half thousand and now in this container I've got the oil that I drained out of it uh, on my first drain so I'm just going to pour them in together and we'll show you roughly how much it's pulling out every almost, you know, like 10,000 k's, roughly. Pour this in. This is from the first drain. There we go. So this cup's about 350 mils, so if you look at the level there, it's probably about, you know, 200 mils, maybe a little bit less that it's pulled out of the intake system. That's in around 9,000 k's, so it is really doing its job and it's doing it well. So if you can imagine that amount of oil going through your intake every 10,000 k's or so, that's a lot of oil. Um, so it's dirty oil as well. Okay guys, so I'm pretty curious to see what the inside of these intake pipes look like now that I've fitted the catch can. So when I took it off about 9,000 k's ago to when I fitted the catch can, there was like a film of oil residue, like, you know, pretty much through the whole hose. So let's have a look at how it's doing after about 9,000 k's. So it's actually bone dry in there. There's, there is pretty much no oil residue at all. That's pretty impressive. Because this definitely had a film of oil through it, and um, in here as well, there was a film of oil. But now there's nothing at all. It's actually separated all of that oil out. I'm pretty impressed by that. So I mean, that, that just proves the point uh, of how good it is to have a catch can fitted to your turbo diesel four-wheel drive. Um, and why it's, I'd almost say, necessary to fit one. And you want to fit it before that oil and uh, soot and oil in the EGR uh, has time to build up as well. So there you go guys, it's quite an easy job to drain the catch can. And it really does just show how efficient the Provent 200 catch cans are at removing the oil from the intake system. So I've done around 9,000 k's now with the catch can on. And you can see how much oil I drained out. It was about 200 mil of oil or so. Uh, and that stopped it from going through the intake system uh, so through my rubber intercooler hoses, through the intercooler, and also from going into the intake tracks and mixing with the EGR gas and soot and creating that sludgy build-up. So issues with the oil going through the intake don't usually show their heads immediately. It's something that sort of takes, you know, over 100,000 k's, 120,000 k's, until it really starts to build up and start causing issues. So I think that's the main reason manufacturers uh, don't fit catch cans from factory because usually the vehicle's out of warranty by the time it starts having issues. So I'm really happy with how the Provent 200 is going. It's mega easy to check, super easy to drain, and uh, it's working extremely well. So really happy. All I need to remember now is in around 30,000 k's to get another filter for it, change the filter, and then that catch can will keep working as efficiently as it can. So thanks a lot for watching guys. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And stay tuned for more full driving, accessory fitting and maintenance videos. Cheers guys.